must-win game. Hey, just like Coach threw that one foot on the field that one day, that could be the difference between us going to playoffs or us ending our season early. Okay, we gotta fight yeah. for that. Remember, let's go. Remember how we started last game? That felt great. We gotta do it again. Someone on kick and return. Let's go fucking return this right now. SRT game, our next game. That one was unexpected. We were projected to win because SRT was not known to be a good football team. But we just had some unfortunate things happen, such as like um, turnovers and just not making our blocks, which caused us to lose. Uh, some passes somehow made it to the other team multiple times, same player, same play over and over again. The interceptions were thrown, so we didn't have the best chance. Since the first play of the game, we lost one of our like one of our best linemen, and that was demoralizing for me and for a couple of the guys from the team. I have no idea what happened. We just we gave him the like, easiest plays. Like holy, our momentum was like on their side the whole game. We came out quiet as can be. Like I don't know what our players were thinking. I don't know. I was like it. I was into it. I was like ready to play. won that game for sure. I think one of the big problems that we had in that game was just the overall theme that we had the whole year was just giving up before the whistle and not going to the very end. They just scored six or 14 points in defense, which is like 
two touchdowns for less. Um, and it was demoralizing for me after that game. I expected to to come back from the first game. But with a loss of some of our critical guys at the beginning of the game, it was it was a bit rocky. Fellas, the effort was there, right? Right? We didn't quit. All right, we came to battle every play. Defense on the field for what, 85, 90 plays today? Right? You guys came to battle. All right, so I'm proud of you guys. All right, disappointing, yeah, absolutely. Um, but the good news is we still got two more weeks to get after it. All right? We get two more weeks to get after it. All right? Okay, this isn't the end. All right? We gotta make the most of these last two. All right? Let's go. Let's go. All right, fine. Let's break it down. Let's go clean up and go home. That's the problem. Family on three. One, two, three, family. So with Abby Senior, they came here again, so it was another home game. And we thought we had a really good game plan coming out into this game, and uh, I think what happened mostly was we just gave them some easy plays, and as soon as that starts happening, our momentum starts going down, and once that starts going down, we like, our team just stops playing a little bit. We gave them seven again, because they didn't do what we're supposed to do. I'm gonna put seven on the reps for that other one. So our team, still in the huddle, Coach still in the huddle. The, the, the refs don't give us no warning. And the Abby team just lines up, snaps the ball, runs it for a touchdown. And we're just like, refs, help us out, man. Hope game. They had one drive where they earned it. And even still, we had two guys outside that weren't lined up properly. Okay? These guys are not that much better than you. They're not. Okay? They're just not making mistakes. Uh, I really think the referees were, were taking us down every time, which was like the morale for our offense. Like our offense was scoring and they were taking a score shot from us. They were taking yards. Every drive was a loss because of the referees and the calls they were making. Um, some balls were ours and they were marking to them. We didn't play our best games. Uh, we definitely could have won better. We definitely could have won the game because we had, like honestly, we got a lot of, a lot of athletes on our team. We got a nice quarterback. Nice set of receivers, very good defense, big guys. We, our margin of error, guys, is, is small. We have to play discipline, we have to play precise. Okay? Yes? Let's go! Fellas, we can do it. It's three touchdowns. Literally, that's it, three touchdowns. All right? Anybody here think we can't score three touchdowns and a half? We can score three touchdowns and a half. Let's go. Yeah? Let's go! Let's go! All right. Don't give up. I'm going to say at the start of the game. Don't give up, no matter how much you want to, don't give up. They are forcing us to be tough, right? They're blitzing the daylights out of the middle. We need to flip the tables, force them to be tough. Think in your head, two seconds longer on those blocks, we're going, okay? Flip the tables, make them be tougher in the second half. We expected a lot from the running back. Um, he was very good. He got us a lot of times. They have this one player, he's a good player, Samuel. He can run all over our team, so that was really what just put us in the dirt.
there were some between players and coaches there were some all things that were against us i think overall how it could have gone we played pretty well the we kept Ab, we kept abby down running yards the only time they scored they didn't get to march it they only had lucky breaks where uh, their pretty good running backs would make a break to the sideline and they they'd score we don't have we don't have the same running backs they do we have a different team we rely on a like we rely on driving the ball and then being able to pass it when we need to, but we couldn't do that. And uh, Abby really kicked us. This whole day, this whole game was very frustrating, I know. Uh, you don't need to tell me, but uh, we'll get that sorted out. We'll be back at it with film on Monday.